so with it. What's going on everybody, the Allen Race coming to you live with yet another video. So the Lakers striked out in free agency again this year. And I know it's not over yet, but clearly the, the Lakers aren't going to get any of these free agents. Of course, they're not going to get the top free agents. Uh, we haven't got a big free agent in years. So, uh, you know, we've been striking out a free agency since like 2012. And, um, like, I don't understand that fans think that the Lakers are, you know, LeVar Ball has come out and said that the Lakers are, you know, my son Lonzo Ball is going to have that same effect that Magic had. And, and, like, fans really believe that, you know, that Lonzo Ball is going to come to the, you know, the Lakers and just all of a sudden make them a playoff team, forgetting about, you know, that the fact that the Houston Rockets just got better, um, the Clippers, they're still the Clippers in the West. The Timberwolves are getting better if Gordon Hayward goes back to the Utah Jazz because they're building something uh, unique over there. The Oklahoma City Thunder just got better. Can't forget about the Portland Trailblazers. So the West is just loaded, right? So to think that the Lakers could snatch an eighth seed, like, really, bro? The Lakers are going to suck again next year. And the thing is, I think that, this is what I've like discussions that I've been having, you know, you saying all these free agents just get picked up. And I was trying to have this discussion with my cousin. I was telling him like, look, man, like, you know, he's like, nah, man, I think the Lakers going to be good. And, you know, the Lakers going to be great and blah, blah, blah. Lakers, this, Lakers, that. I said, trust me, like they should have kept D'Angelo Russell and they should have at least put, if they were going to keep Lonzo Ball, they could have put Lonzo Ball at the one and D'Angelo Russell at the two. I felt like they should have got Jerry West. Boy, Jerry Weston, and then try to trade for Klay Thompson, try to trade the pick for Klay Thompson, and just try to pair, you know, D'Angelo and Klay Thompson with each other. You know, D'Angelo Russell's going to be a great point guard heading towards the future. Um, I, I guess I could just stop talking about him because he's with Brooklyn now, so it's just time to get over him. But, you know, I think the direction that Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak were heading in is today's generation, you know, and... I believe that the Lakers are trying to save cap space, you know, for next year to make a splash with two free agent, uh, two top tier free agents to bring to L.A., you know, and, you know, pretty much they just going to break up the young nucleus that they have. You know, it's, it's all about building for the future. And I feel like, you know, even with, you know, you, you just it's just like look at all the free agents that we're missing out on. You know, Nick Young's about to go. You know, I, I don't even I didn't want Nick Young back anyway, but Nick Young is about to go to probably the Warriors and win a ring with the Warriors. Um, you know, Dion Waiters probably go back to Miami. You know, we're not getting pretty much none of these free agents. And this is what I was trying to tell, you know, the person I was talking to. I'm like, look, man, like we don't even have a bench like Jordan Clarkson. You had Lou Williams and Nick Young coming off of our bench. Both of those players are gone. You know, we suck, but we had one of the best benches in the NBA last year, you know. So we lost those two players. Jordan Clarkson was another piece that was coming off the bench. Now, he's probably most likely going to be in a starting lineup next year. And by him being in the starting lineup next year, then that means our bench is going to suck. So if our bench suck in the, first, in the starting lineup is sucking, then we're just going to suck altogether. So I just felt like we should have been patient. And now we just going it's gonna be even worse next year because the talent level is just is diminished, it's done, you know. And you know, I love the Lakers, but at the same time, we're gonna suck next year. And, you know, I don't want fans to be believing that, you know, since Lonzo Ball was right about, you know, D'Angelo uh, was right about, you know, Lonzo Ball going to the Lakers, I don't want, you know, fans to think that, oh man, he he's he's been right so far. Maybe he's gonna be right about this and right about that. But also, you got to remember that this man went on live television and was just talking about how his son was, you know, he's saying he'd beat Michael Jordan, but also saying that, you know, his son was going to win the tournament, but they end up losing to Kentucky bad. So he's not always right. So, you know, I don't want fans to just believe in him. We lost that. We losing a lot of, you know, we're not getting nothing in free agency. But I think that drafting Lonzo Ball moved us back four or five years. And, you know, even if we get Paul George, 
it's not going to mean anything. Like, I think Paul George is a great player, but he's not that transcendent player that's going to take your, le- your, your franchise to the next level, you know. And that's just my personal opinion, you know. Everybody likes Paul George, but I'm not high on Paul George. Um, and to think that Paul George is better than Kevin Durant is the ultimate disrespect, you know. Kevin Durant is almost seven, almost seven feet, if not seven feet, can dribble the ball, can pull up from anywhere on the floor, is a lockdown defender. Come on now. Paul George don't even have any MVPs, anything, you know, and that's no knock to Paul George. But, you know, I just think that we should have went in another direction and probably if we if you're going to get rid of, you know, the Clippers got Jerry West, like the Clippers, not the Lakers, the Clippers. Look what Jerry West has done for the Lakers over the past years, you know, and it was just the writings on the wall should have just been like to bring Jerry West back. You know, you should have brought Jerry West back. And try to pull for Klay Thompson because what people don't know is Jerry West was the one who kept Klay Thompson there when they were trying to trade Klay Thompson for Kevin Love. They didn't believe that, you know, Klay Thompson could be an elite defender. But Jerry West was like, no. And people be like, well, would Klay Thompson even want to come? I mean, if Jerry West, you got to like these owners and these like, you know, people who are behind the scenes as far as like uh, I think Jerry West was like a consultant. They play like mind tricks on these guys and, and make him believe that, look, man, like you're going to be the star of this team. Like you're going to be the only one because you're the only one that's ahead of the curve anyway. So you need somebody in there that at least come in with that winning culture. You know, Clay Thompson has won championships. So if you come in here, you could be a huge focal point of this team. You're going to get a lot of shots. You got what I'm saying? Because this team is still developing. So we could bring you in and bring in a couple more veterans and just change this culture they would be like the direction. It would be so much like when Jerry West comes in, Jerry West develops an identity. He says, this is the identity and this is what we're going to go with. It's different steps and levels to get to a, a, a high level. Like Jerry West has a, a mind state where he thinks like uh, he uses imagination. And like I heard an interview where he would talk about how he used to talk to himself. And, you know, he used to dream big when he was in his uh, in his in his driveway. Now, he might have not won a lot of rings, but he's the logo for a reason. Like, he studied the game of basketball. Like, he mastered the art of basketball. You know, Jerry West is the mastermind behind Golden State. They didn't win championships until Jerry West got there. The Lakers didn't win championships, you know, without Jerry West. And if they did, they won most of them with Jerry West. So, you know, it, you should have just brought Jerry West back. That's all I'm going to say. But, um... You know, we strike out on free agency once again. Like I've been saying, our bench suck, and we we it's going to be a long season again next season. And you know, Magic Johnson came in; he's not doing nothing but doing the same thing that you know Jim Buss is doing. They didn't want Jordan Clarkson as a starting point guard, so he said, "All right, we're going to get D'Angelo Russell." That's not going to be our starting point guard no more. You bring in D'Angelo Russell now, Ronnie Price is end up starting, and Jeremy Lin is starting. You know, you got Jeremy Lin as the point guard. And then you got Jordan Clarkson as the point guard. Then you got D'Angelo Russell. Then you got Ronnie Price. It's like it's all over the place. So then Magic Johnson come in. Magic Johnson said, oh, well, nah. Well, Russell not our starting point guard. We're going to bring Alonzo Ball. And I think that rookie is just going to set us back years, you know, set us back a couple of years to whereas we were already, you know, a couple years in. So all you're doing is just keep bringing rookies in. And our roster keeps getting younger and younger and younger. And these guys are not learning how to, you know, play at the NBA level. You know, and they're trying to find a way to get dang, you know, get Luau's dang contract off the books. They're trying to keep enough cap space. But anyway, y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Look, straight from the soul, would it?